Welcome to the first annual Raspberry Pi Photography Awards. The Raspberry Pi Photography Awards we did over the month of June to July, and there was uh, just one requirement. Yes. We said, uh, I guess maybe there was two. Or maybe there's. There to be a photo, it had to be taken with a Raspberry Pi. Maybe there was even three or four. Um, but the requirement was uh, you have to use a Raspberry Pi. Yes. You have to take a photo with a camera that's attached to the Raspberry Pi. Yeah. And then make sure we we get it somehow. We gave you an email address. We had uh, tags. So it was pound Twitter, RPPA. Like Facebook. Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Google Plus, Google Plus um, Pinterest, email, all you know, of it. You yeah, name yeah, it. Yeah. The, any way that we can try to get it. So um, we had a ton of entries. In fact. How many entries do we have? Um, well, all together we have 182 photos. And okay. so our team of judges, um, we had to actually had to extend the judging for a little bit longer. I thought it was just going to be um, maybe a smaller amount. This is the first year. Who knows? Yeah. How many people have Raspberry Pi? How many people put a camera in it? How many people will take an amazing photo? How many people will uh, share it? Well, more than we expected. In fact, 182. Yeah. In fact, next year, what we're going to do is have a lot of different categories. Yeah. Nature, time lapse, um, pets, um, Action. outdoor, you know, uh, architecture, Computing. and so yeah. What you're seeing, in, desk. What, what you're seeing in the background is a scroll through all of the entries that came in, and uh, they're all fantastic. And it really shows all the cool things that you can do with a Raspberry Pi and a camera. Some of them are little snapshots of life. Some of them are things like a, a bird flying up to a bird feeder. Some of them are uh, snippets from a time lapse. And uh, they're all uh, absolutely amazing. So you'll uh, see on adafruit.com not only all the winners, which we're about to get to in a second, but we're also going to show all the entries that we were able to spot and find. So we're there's really excited. Did you see the lizard? Yeah. So we're really excited. There's uh, There's been nothing like it out there. and. Uh, we have uh, the winners. Uh, we're going to go through the, the runners up first. And uh, first, I wanted, I'm going to talk about this end, but I want to say, once again, special thanks to our judges here at Adafruit Elisa, Yay, Elisa Mo, Mo, Angel, Angel Stella, Stella, and Jessica. Jessica. And, and then Liz from Liz. the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Thank you so much. I know you guys spent a lot of time looking at all the photos, and we appreciate it because it was. Uh, really uh, an, an effort to put all these in one spot and then uh, find them all and then make sure we, we credit them right and then you guys were able to, to take them and you spent your time on it. So thank you so much. So without further ado, mm -hmm. these are all the runners up. So what we did is we had one grand prize run winner of $314 okay. in the Adafruit store. Yes. And then I said, well, let's do 14 like runners up and these are in no no way in any order other than we have a grand prize winner and then these are all the other ones that ju the judges really like. These are in the order that they were entered into the site. So basically, much. yeah. Basically. basically. So um, the first one and let me get to my um, list here Okay. to make sure. Do we have to have the name of the person? Yeah. Okay. The first, first one. one. Congratulations James Mitchell from Berlin, Germany. This is a beautiful photo of a... I love this photo. Yeah. Of a Raspberry Pi looking Lego-y thing. It's a little Lego character yeah. and he's got this little C colon slash mug that he's dropping and he's he's yeah. possessed by the pie. So um, and also we'll be uh, contacting everyone. Don't worry, I put a note on the yeah, site. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, this is just yeah. For we'll a, get a hold of you. So uh, we know how to reach you. All runners up get a thirty dollars gift certificate in the Adafruit store. All fourteen okay. winners. Congratulations, Next James. Up. This is from. Picture is taken with Pi Noir and Normal Cam. Best regards, Arthur Giorski. All right, Arthur. I just love this because it's it's a cool use of the pine noir. Because at first you're like, yeah, the ground is gr like brownish, yellowish, and that's normal. But then you notice the trees are also this yellowish color because it's the the pine noir. But the sky looks, uh, you know, normal. So it's kind of an interesting effect of what you can yeah. do with the pine noir. Okay, next up. You know, this is kind of neat. We had a lot of scientific and, and nature photos. This is more on the scientific side. This is from Mike Cook. This is a spirogia. Here are two exchanging packets of cells. No, it is a pi spirogira. Spy yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. It says the letters pi appear in it. So basically, like. this is plants getting it on. So <laughs> that's what it is. Algae. Yeah. So um, this is, I, I thought this was really neat. It was it's beautiful. Beautiful photo. Okay. Next up. And amazing the quality of a, of a pie cam. Yeah. Here we go. This is a birdhouse with an actual bird. Yeah. So this is a photomation uh, automatic. Uh, Zazio. Zazio from Etienne. Etienne. Uh, Etienne Cochon. Cochon. 
So congratulations. Another amazing photo. Look how beautiful the bird is, the colors, and the, um, I mean, it, it almost looks fake. But. I love the name of it, Photomaton. It's an auto, auto photor. Yeah. All right. Next up. Um, this is really neat. This was uh, really interesting the way they did this. So this is an uh, animation of the automated digital photo collage at Pier 62 number 9, created using Python program and Raspberry Pi computer and a Raspberry Pi camera. Uh, the algorithm detects the movement of the shadows in the, lo in the lower right. Uh, this is from Tommy Mintz. So this is this really neat. Evan, uh, this was, uh, sorry, Evan. Uh, uh, this is Liz's favorite. This is one of, yeah, this is uh, Liz's top. Sorry, Liz, top I didn't mean to call you Evan. Yeah. So next up. You say Evan and Liz, that's why. Yeah. They're a pair. We're a team. They're a They're pair. A team. Yeah. Okay. Next up. This one's beautiful. Yeah. So this is um, from Jay Langhurst. Um, it's his entry. It's Pie Noir Garnet Dusk. It has a dark noir feel to it. Raspberry Pi plant. Raspberry plant. There's no raspberry pie plant. Yeah, raspberry plant. Sorry. Okay. All right. I like, like how the people are trying to get raspberries into this. They're yeah. Like, it's, it's raspberry themed. Okay. It's another lovely uh, Pi Noir. Next up. This is kind of cool. This is a duo Raspberry Pi camera as Rich Shoemaker walked around um, the uh, Comic Con. This so, is a portable, portable Pi. Yeah, so this is like, you know, Vulcan in, in action. Golf Vulcan. All right, next up, this is kind of neat. This is from Matt uh, Inglis. Uh, here are my submissions for the Raspberry Pi pictures. I've gone to the uh, gone for the fun element of my Raspberry Pi camera. It's housed in a wedding photo booth, and they um, also um, he also included how it was made. So that's really cool. All right, so this is a family wedding. Yeah. Next up, this is "Don't Throw Me Your Gigantus Bert." So this is a cute little uh, Lego. Throwing another Lego. I think we like the uh, we like the the um, yeah. This is one of the photos. It was it's not like a natural photo. They actually like you know put parts p toys together to uh, make the shot. And the color is really nice and yeah. it's, the the framing it's is great. really nice and it's just fun. Yeah, it's a fun photo. Next up, this is uh, this. And some of these have fun stories behind them. So this one's really neat. This is from uh, Charlie uh, Gallier. This is uh, a shot of our last eighth grade. Raspberry Pi class. It's a Raspberry Pi tied to a helium balloon tethered to the ground, wireless dongle. Kids built the OS, made the camera code Python, launched, logged in SSH, ran the camera code Python, downloaded the image all in real time. Wow. So this is kind of neat. Um, I like uh, this one, and I think the, the judges probably um, thought the same thing is, not only is this a photo, but it tells a picture because the kids had to learn something. And imagine you put a computer in a helium balloon as a kid, and then you log into it and take the picture down. That's amazing. Man, in like eighth grade, like yeah. all I was doing was like playing like Lego logo, logo or like I don't know, like yeah. some some silly Apple II game or something. Well, it worked out for you. So okay, next up. I died from dysentery. Or <laughs> all right. I don't know. So next up, um, this is a fun one. This is a, like a snapshot of life. This is a lot of their um, things that they had just. On their desk. Here's my submission for the pie contest. Regards, Christian Brouchy or Brouchy. All right. Another fun one. Yeah. Toys, uh, playing around with electronics. Yeah. I don't know. It's fun. Next up. Can't go wrong Star Wars. Yeah, this is uh, a lot of fun. This is from the uh, Sparrow Departure at the UTM Bird Feeder. So this um, is a, a cam is a pie camera that takes a photo of these uh, bird feeders. Yes, another one. And fun. so, yeah, this looks like a. a bird, uh, I see a lot of Raspberry Pi bird feeders. Yeah, it's a thing. All right. And, and then. Keep going. Yep, this is another one. This is Little Engineers Experimenting with the Mickey Mickey and a Raspberry Pi. Aww. Yeah. It's also fun. It just looks like a. You know, when you see a photo like this, you're like, wow, like, this is a family that loves each other and has fun and, and probably don't get locked in the closet <laughs> or anything. Like they've got like photos on the wall and they're like playing with Play-Doh yeah. and they got a Mickey Mickey. This is like the... All right. This Next. is this is a, a photo to remember. Next up. This is from Hendra and it's titled Entry for the Contest. Thank you. So it's uh, a sun, it looks like a uh, the sun going through the trees. Very beautiful photo. Again, all taken with the Raspberry Pi. Or a lamp. Hard to tell. Okay. Or it's on fire. So, the moment you've all been waiting for. I think I have some sound behind this. All right. The yeah. winner of the 2014 Raspberry Pi Photo Awards. You ready? Ready. Drum roll, Lady Ada. Okay, winner of the $314. 
is congratulations Andrew Mulholland. Andrew Mulholland made this amazing photo using a Raspberry Pi pano stitcher made with Legos. Um, not only that are all the details are on the site, uh, there's a whole handful of other ones um, that he did. Um, here's a quick video of how it's made. I just wanted to, to show this. And you can see it move and the camera takes a photo. And um, in the chat room, you can see these winners uh, right now. And uh, the photos that come out are amazing. Yeah, um, it, that is just so beautiful. Yeah, so um, the judges uh, independently all picked th uh, this one uh, amongst uh, all the others. And that, folks, is the Raspberry Pi Photography Awards 2014. We are definitely going to do this next year. Um, we'll have to have lots of categories, more time, more... more. You should have one just for birds. I was surprised yeah. that there weren't more cat photos. I mean... Cats are hard to stay we, still, so yeah, no, know, that's sometimes... True. That's sometimes. True. So the, the, the PanBot stuff is amazing. You guys have to check it out. And once again, um, thank you to all of our judges. Lisa, Mo, the Angel, Stella, Jessica, and Liz. Liz. Fantastic stuff. Um, that is the... Uh, Yay! The Photography Awards. Whew. Okay, so, congratulations to everybody. Yeah, on the site right now is a link to all of them.